so this is going to be a, a Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and as well Cancer Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading April 20th to April 26th, uh, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a uh, personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And as well, if you are into uh, reading tarot cards and you want to learn how to do it, you like my way as well. Uh, I'm offering an six weeks online live tarot classes in which I'm going to explain you the major arcana, how to interpret them in a term of love, in term of career, in term of a negative position and a positive position in the spread. And at the end of the course, you are going to be set to uh, do your own uh, readings. So that being said, the Wheel of Fortune is the first one for a Cancer here, which marks the topic for their week. Moving next, we do have the energies that are feeding and supporting the topic. These are the energies of the Knight of Wands, followed by the challenges that you will have to overcome. And that will be the challenge of the Ten of Swords. Followed next, we do have the gifts and the blessings that uh, you are get to enjoy throughout the week. That is going to be the Six of Wands. Afterwards, what we do have it is the impression that you are going to leave into the people around. That will be the impression of the Three of Wands. And the final one that we do have for you, Cancer, that will be the Guidance that Tara is offering. We have the Ace of Wands. So we do have only active cards here, not a single passive one. So that will be a week of a huge dynamic you know many things are going on and it's simply we can say that safely with only the first card which is the Wheel of fortune but uh, my point here is that the week will demand action a big big action i mean if you think that uh, things are going to happen on their own accord only they are going to be presented on their own accord but you have to make them work okay so it will demand from you a a huge portion of incorporation so uh, let's talk about the first couple of cards here, which represents the topic and the energies. Let's start with the energies first, because that's what's the important card here, the most important card here. So Knights of Wands, those energies are going to present you within a very, I would say, enterprising events. OK, and uh, because it's the Knights of Wands, those are going to be multiple events. It's because that's what Knights of Wands, it's uh, it's known for to try out you know you find what it is yours to do in terms of career or in terms of relationship if you will you find the appropriate tutor you find the appropriate job you find the appropriate um, partner uh, in, in business or a po appropriate project by trial and error and that's why you have to be very active throughout the week try one thing if it is not yours try another if it is not yours as well try a third one fourth one fifth one fiftieth one but what is important here is once you identify what works for you in one or another way, in terms of career or in terms of relationship, you got to stop there. Because Knights of Wands gives you huge impulse, a huge momentum, really, to um, simply find a way to develop your interest. Okay, interest to be successful in career, interest to be um, successful in love, if you will. But once you identify, find your interest and you start pushing it through, you should stop there searching, but instead focusing on that thing. Because like I said, um, Knight of Wands, while it gives you huge momentum, it has its limits. So as soon as you find it, the momentum stops and you have to stick with it. Because if you keep on searching, you're going to you're gonna go into a stage of meltdown or a burnout. And uh, you're going to identify this stage by seeing how aggravated you are, how impatient you are, you know, how everything it is not interesting to you, but it's rather more annoying than anything else and etc, etc. And that will be clear sign that you have just, um, how can I say it, passed through, passed through a, the, uh, the enterprise uh, or the event, the enterprising event that it is yours to develop. And that event itself, it's signified here by the Wheel of Fortune, and it just shows the magnitude of the event itself. So Wheel of Fortune as a magnitude, it's an awesome card because it tells us that that is an event which first and foremost, and the very least, is going to stir your life. You feel that your life is uh, facing a wall, is set on how, it's in a standstill. Well, that's no longer being be the case after 
uh, this week, April 20th to 26th, it's, uh, it's over. So simply you're going to find your way how to study your life. But again, you are going to find your way. You just, the wheel of fortune will give you these circumstances, but you got to find them on your own. And the other thing that the wheel of fortune is known for, of course, of course, the luck of the draw and what that means. Well, simply means that that could be a, a once in a lifetime opportunity to make a very significant change in your life. Change that uh, the opportunity for it doesn't come twice. Okay, it's just, it's just as simple as that. A, a chance to, I don't know, to be with uh, the exactly the stereotype of a person you always saw yourself with, you got it. A chance to work the, the dream job of yours, you got it. Okay, but you gotta find a way how to get there, and that way it will be enforced to you through the trial and error once again i am repeating it over and over because i cannot tell you how important that is uh finding it through a trial and error and at the end reaching you know your true interest and the ability to develop it and one more thing about the knights of wands it is that uh, it's very determined uh, these energies are going to make you very determined because the nine of knights of wands uh it's determined to do whatever it takes you know to develop its uh, its interest as long as the interest really makes it interesting to him so going next we got uh, the ten of swords here obviously the challenges and it's quite of a challenge really uh this um new event that is going to be quite enterprising for you it will request require uh, rather a bit of a sacrifice unfortunately so you have to give up on one thing so you can substitute it with another that is where the ten of uh, swords really hits you when things are so many and so stiff that something breaks it breaks and you gotta leave it behind therefore uh, the the whole situation will request from you to make some rather quite drastic actions and quite drastic decisions by identifying what cannot be carried on into your successful future and despite that you may feel kind of like a regrets or a pain to let it go you have to because um, as you can see in the card here um we have a dawn that is rising on the horizon right now yellow skies are darkened but that is not going to be forever and in order to uh move to this dawn you gotta leave the evil behind because in this card that's not you that's the evil within that is killed by the swords and the evil within it is like uh, you know it kind of carries positive and negative traits and you cannot give up on the negative traits without the positive traits as well. So, for example, the very trivial example of it is a um, romantic, uh, abusive relationship that one can have. Understanding that that cannot go forever and that relationship, it's kind of like depriving them from being happy, right? From, from uh, following their interests. And despite that they love the person they are with, they have to let it go. They have to break it. So it's painful, but simultaneously uh, it, it offers healing. And that's what the Ten of Swords is all about. Drawing the line and understanding what can be and what cannot be. And whatever cannot be, it needs to go. And it, the, the, the severance has to be rough, uh, under rough or a hard severance. You, you can't kind of try to sugarcoat it straight into the eyes. If, uh, if that makes sense. Um, that, that severance may include, you know, some drastic actions, some drastic decisions as well that are quite irreversible or irrevocable as well. But once you do it, you are going to feel light as a feather because you did the, the, the tough job there. You, th that was the thing that have been withholding you from, a, um, from an, an opportunity to be happy and to be uh, successful in general. So moving next, uh, we are having the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy throughout the week. That is to be the gift and the blessing of the Six of uh, Wands. So enough poignancy, I would say here. Six of Wands shows that you are to be appraised and recognized for your decisions and for your actions. So simply people will say, finally, you did the right thing. The thing that we all have expected you to do. Not to mention that that will immediately bring rewards to you, either emotional, either spiritual, 
um, uh, material as well, any kind of rewards that are accompanying the tough decision. So you are not going to feel like you have kind of killed something within you, but rather that you uh, traversed a very difficult threshold that was withholding you from reaching the milestone and the success that the universe or the faith or, or God or whatever you are believing in is preparing for you. It, it, it is out there lingering in, the uh, lingering in the void. It is just, you know, right. It is just up until now you didn't have the, uh, the means to, to get there, but now you do because you did the right thing. It's, uh, it's a, or you are to do the right thing here at least according to this um, this reading. And one other thing about the Six of Wands, uh, it kind of refers to help as well. So if you are in a desperate need of help, that is to be your gift and a blessing. Because um, I'm talking about this into my classes, but just long story short, now this person here may not be seen as a conqueror, but as a liberator, all right? So just, just to say, it could be a, a so much needed help, quite unexpected comes by and pretty much saves the day. Uh, next one, it uh, refers to what kind of impression people are going to have into you. And uh, with the three of wands, you kind of like got a grip over your future, not just over your life, but over your future, because this is the three of wands, guys. This is about growth, right? People uh, and how you generally ac accomplish growth, right? And and people are seeing you as a, an individual now or having an impression that you will have it no other way around. You either have it according to your expectations or that is not meant to be. And therefore, those things that are uh, simply not serving their purpose in your life, you know, that you may very well uh, cherish, you may very well love, you know, you may, they may hold sentiments or value, but once you see that they do not correspond to your expectations of your future, for example, your relationship doesn't make you happy, your job makes you depressed, and etc., etc., that will be the final straw here, and people are going to see that, that even though you may not be able, you know, to complete the severance throughout the week, you have initiated the process. Because uh, I am talking like everything is simple, you know, and you just see, say one thing and things magically happen. That's not true, you know, I, I understand that. And I'm talking from a general perspective. But the whole point of the reading is, is that you at least need to have the intentions and start the process. Uh, and that is the most difficult part because the rest is just a, a matter of time. That's all. And people will see you like someone who wants more because it does deserves more and someone who is determined to, I would say, do what it takes, but not exactly. It's more like someone who is challenging it himself to meet happiness, uh, being successful as well, or in generally to improve one's life through the circumstances as it's if the circumstances does not align with their expectations, it finds those circumstances that are to align with the expectations themselves. And the final one here, it is the guidance that Taro is offering. Uh, that is to be the Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Wands uh, points us that uh, uh, the the enterprise is going to be very gainingful, but okay, uh, it will come a bit strange and awkward in the sense of that you are not going to be very familiar with the whole process. I'm saying. Uh, so uh, just to give you an example, if that's a new job or kind of like a, a new project that you are to perform into, you will have a little clue what, what, what exactly to do there and, and how to tackle with it in general. That's why the uh, Ace of Wands, uh, it, that's the little brother of, uh, or kind of like the cousin of the Fool card, all right? Um, it points that you have to uh, allow yourself to expand and grow through the creative chaos that you're going to have. And that creative chaos, uh, unlike with the Fool card, for you, it's meant to uncover that you are good at it. And up until now, you have been smothered and you have been most likely either guided in the wrong direction, say, you know, or in a direction that uh, it's, it's most trivial or you have been um, uh, muffled and etc, etc. And now, as the week progresses, you understand that you are also good at something else, also good at something new, uh, okay? And you are to start developing or uh, unfolding this knowledge, this skill, this gift. It could be as well a gift. But the point is here that you are going to be much more at the end of this week than you have been, uh, than, than you have been as you have entered it. 
So that being said, um, Cancer, that was your weekly general tarot reading, April 20th to April 26th, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. Once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. As well, uh, if you uh, want to start reading uh, tarot cards and so you like the way I do it, I'm offering a, an online live six weeks tarot classes in which I am explaining you all of the major arcana uh, with how they stand in terms of uh, relationship, career in a positive way, in a negative way, and in generally how to interpret them in a dedicated spread and in relation to whatever question the quarant will have. Uh, as using them, I'm sorry, into the dedicated spread. I have chosen that it is major arcana free, meaning that once you complete the course, you are set to do your own private readings, if you will. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you're going to stay safe now and uh, see you next time. Until then, bye.